Hello, and thanks for joining me. And uh, I've just kept the bike turned around here. I've just been fiddling around with my camera, but I think I've got everything working okay now. So just turn around, and as you can see, I am in Joshua Tree National Park. And what a fantastic place this is. So whilst I'm riding along and talking about uh, the Triumph T120 and what it's like to tour on, hopefully you can enjoy the the scenery here and enjoy the beauty of Joshua Tree National Park. You see, it's, it's really marked out by these incredible rock formations around, and of course the, the Joshua trees, which are in the, the Yucca family. And uh, yeah, it really is a spectacular place, is this. But really, the reason I'm, I'm making this video is because I want to talk about the Triumph T120, the Bonneville T120, and what is it like to tour on? What's it like as a touring bike? Now, that's a question which I had asked myself. I wondered, you know, what, how good would the Bonneville T120 be for touring on? So I thought, well, why not find out? So this is a rental bike that I'm on. I rented it in Las Vegas, and I have, over the last two weeks, ridden nearly 2,000 miles on this bike. I rode it out of um, Las Vegas into Death Valley, rode it through Death Valley, from there, rode it up into Yosemite, right up into the, the mountains there in Yosemite National Park. Then down to San Francisco, and then I followed the uh, coast down, ridden down uh, the Pacific Highway, and then cut back inland again, and now at uh, Joshua Tree National Park. So I've put a lot of miles under the wheels of this bike, and that's given me a really good chance to see what it's like for touring on. And I have to say, I have been extremely impressed. I've really enjoyed riding this bike over the last couple of weeks. It's certainly not the best touring bike in the world. You know, obviously it's not kitted out really as a touring bike, but you know, my thoughts were, you know, can you tour on it and can you enjoy touring on it? And the answer has been a resounding yes. When I set off on this bike at first, I was concerned about two things. One was I was worried about the uh, the, the range on it, the fuel, the fuel range. And the other thing uh, I was concerned about was how comfortable the seat might be. Both of those fears were totally unfounded. Uh, the seat, it's been very, very comfortable to ride on as this bike. Um, it's quite a low saddle, or at least, uh, you know, low for, for me. I've got quite uh, long legs. I'm six feet tall, and the seat height's about 30, maybe 31 inches. Um, and so you, you're very, very comfortably uh, low seat height for me. That getting on and off the bike, stopping, what have you, found that to be very comfortable. Um, and the, the fuel um, range, I've been very pleasantly surprised. I've been consistently getting between 50 and 55 miles to the gallon out of the bike. It has a 3.8 gallon tank, so that means I've, I've comfortably got a range of 180, you know, pushing it, pushing it even a little bit further in terms of mileage. And, you know, to be honest, I've been stopping and fueling up every 150 miles or so. And so, you know, the fuel range has just not been an issue at all. Comfort has been great, fuel range has been great. Obviously there's no screen on the bike, so that's potentially an issue for people if they're riding high speed on the interstate. I've just done one long blast on the interstate on it. It was about two hours and I was doing about 80 miles an hour and it was fine, it was absolutely fine. I wouldn't like to be doing that all day, every day, but it was absolutely fine just for that short blast. But most of the time I'm riding 60, 65 miles an hour, you know, or even slower on roads like this because I'm enjoying the scenery and I'm stopping frequently. So, um, yeah, the fact that there's no screen on the bike has been no problem whatsoever. The engine is fantastic for touring because it's, it's a very torquey, relaxed engine. You don't need to rev it. In fact, there's no point in revving it. If you change down the gear and rev it out, you just get no more from it. And so you can really enjoy the, the, the torque of this engine. That, together with the fact that it's got six gears, which means that, that um, you know, top gear is relatively tall. Yeah, so even when you are riding on the interstate, when I did a blast on the interstate, still, you know, the engine's not revving too much. So it just makes it feel like a really relaxed 
motorised um, ride. Now, in terms of luggage, um, it, it's been fine. Again, I'm I'm not travelling with with, a, with an awful lot of uh, luggage. I'm staying in hotels, so I don't have camping gear and what have you. This bike is fitted with pannier stays, so you can just throw uh, throw the panniers on it. But I've not even bothered with that. I've just got a bag strapped on the on the back seat behind me, and that's absolutely fine. So I'm confident that even were I camping and carrying a tent and camping gear. I would have plenty of room on this bike for carrying my luggage. Maybe not for two people in luggage, maybe that would be a little bit tighter, but certainly for, for myself, it's been absolutely fine. In terms of, uh, you know, riding it, I'm doing a lot of sightseeing, so I'm hopping on and off the bike, and um, it's quite a physically small bike, is this, um, and so that's made it very, you know, easy to manoeuvre, park up, you know, just, just jump off it at the side of the road, go and have a little explore, take a few photographs. I have spoken in a previous video about what it's like to ride. I did a, a, a video, uh, I recorded it when I was riding down the Pacific Highway uh, a few uh, days ago. I was riding down through Big Sur and I compared this bike to my uh, Bonneville T140, which is a classic 1970s T140. Um, I did mention on that video, and I'll say again now, that it is actually quite a heavy bike. It's about 225 kilograms is this bike. So, you know, for, for a, a fairly compact small bike, it is quite heavy and you do feel that weight, particularly when you're riding through the twisties, when you're going through the corners, it does feel a that little bit heavier. But that doesn't mean it doesn't handle well. It does. I, I, I actually, back, back in the uh, early 80s, I, I uh, had a, a, a Suzuki GS1000 and to me it feels very much what I like. I, I remember the GS1000 uh, handling like, um, if, if that's a useful comparison for anybody. But generally speaking, I, I just feel that you do not need um, all of the fancy things that you get on big touring bikes and, and believe me I appreciate them you know I, I do plenty of touring on a, you know the, the big uh, touring bikes that are kitted out with all, all the stuff but you don't need that to be able to tour and to be able to really enjoy touring now, back in the in the 80s I used to do lots of touring on naked bikes like this that didn't have screens they didn't have hard luggage, things like that, just strap a bag on the back. You know, the experience I've had over the last couple of weeks has really harked back to, the, to those days in my youth where I just used to strap all my stuff on the back of my bike and set off. And um, yeah, it's it's been quite a nostalgic couple of weeks for me as this, taking me back to what touring used to be back, like uh, back in the 1980s. and. You know, to some extent, I feel that, you know, touring as I do these days on the big Harley Davidson tourers or on my, my big BMW GS or I've done quite a lot on the Triumph uh, Tiger 1200, you're kind of spoilt. It's almost too easy on those bikes. Everything's just so easy and convenient. And I felt on this bike um, more of a sense of adventure. I, I, maybe, I, I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it's just, you know, because it's not a touring bike because it's not set up as a touring bike it has felt like more of an adventure setting off on this not that it's been more difficult not that it's been uncomfortable not at all and um, yeah I, I, I'm really taken with this bike I, I love it I think it's been great so I hope you found that uh, a useful short video thanks for watching bye